Many of you know the Chronicles of Olivia and I, Bullhorn Betty, had an opportunity to go to the Dollar General in Jacksonville following a uh, brutal attack on a black community. Law enforcement is describing this as a hate crime, and we've learned a lot of details about this case. However, we met a lot of great people and got great interviews from them, and this is one interview that I thought was very important that our community would like to hear. While I don't necessarily agree with the position of this gentleman, and I wanted to put it out there on TikTok to find out how you feel uh, about this. Do you think segregation is now something that we should be entertaining? Check out this video. My name is Muwa Kill. I came because I feel the hurt, the pain of this community, because I'm a part of it. Actually, the day it happened, I was 10 minutes away from here. And I got a phone call, my son say, Daddy, he was telling me what went down. I said, son, I'm right over here by here. And I came by. Oh, this is a rope dog, we're gonna pull in here. The day I came by. Have you shopped in this store before? No, ma'am. You haven't, has your family? No, ma'am. So you guys would have been, at least if, if this had happened any other day, you might have been scathed, but there's a lot of people. Is this, do a lot of people shop here? Of course, this, this is like the neighborhood supermarket for most people around here. My, my stance, ma'am, on this, to be honest with you, I'm a member of the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. I'm with the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. And his stance is the only solution to this race problem is not holding hands and coming together in no prayer. And let's sing, sit around and say, oh, let's meet with the governor. or meet with the mayor. He said the only solution, and I stand behind this, the only solution to this race problem is separation. And that, that's not a statement of reverse racism. Let's take this for example. Around the corner here is a community called Grand Park. Mm -hmm. If we had separation and somebody came from around Grand Park to come here to shop, and we said, hold on, man. You a Caucasian. Are oh, you a Hispanic dude? We need to pat you down. You coming into a new country. So we separate and that'll end this race problem. How do you feel about, you know, I mean, if you're gonna get in that, I just gotta, I wanna pick your brain, if you don't mind. So we had the march. We had, you know, uh, Martin Luther King demand that we end segregation. And now we're here all these years later and there's black community leaders saying, hey, we want it the way it used to be. 1963, a year before I was born. Ain't nothing changed, ma'am. You can't go to Buffalo, New York and go into a supermarket. Wow. You can't go shopping just because you were born with this beautiful skin. You can't go, everybody going Dollar General, Bougie, yep. Rich Poe, yep. everybody going, I could have went in there and got charcoals. I could have been in there that day. Yes, you could have. Everybody going to Dollar General, Family Dollars. So from 1963 up until now, ain't nothing changed. And this ain't going to be the last incident, man. You got this brother, uh, uh, not brother, Dylan Roof in yep. South Carolina. You go in there and pray with some people. And, so, right. and then turn around and just do the unthinkable. Yes, yeah. And I'm going to leave one of y'all alive so you can tell what went down. This ain't going to be the last thing. The only solution to this race problem is separation. Mm -hmm. That's the only solution. We need our own schools. We need our own Dollar General. We need our own supermarket. And we can end this overnight. But would that, wouldn't that just make it another place for somebody like this deranged lunatic that came here to target those establishments? No, ma'am. Like I said, when you come, or if you go to Mexico, or I, I don't travel the world, not bragging. Mm -hmm. When you go in the other countries, when you go through custom, they pat you down, they check you. Mm -hmm. In the Nation of Islam, when you come into our meeting, hey, brother, we're going to do a quick search on you. You go into the courthouse, they search you. Yeah. Again, if there was our community, welcome to Dollar General, but we're going to do a quick pat on you right quick, man. None of this would have took place. Yeah. How are you going to shoot somebody 11 times, 52 years old? That's... A woman, a female. Yeah. No, ma'am. The only solution, separation. Gotcha. Well, I do appreciate you taking oh, the time. Oh, bless you. Bless you.